In his Hopedale workshop, welder and artist David Dawson is bringing a creature to life. They name them. You know, like, oh, this is Fred, this is Skippy. Dawson transforms scrap metal into characters, lovingly named by his return customers. And they'll walk in the tent and be like, oh, Frank needs a friend. I'm like, who's Frank? I'm like, oh, Frank's our robot that we brought from you last time. And just, it's hilarious. He learned welding to get a better job, but his love of art was always part of it. In 2020, Dawson went full time with the creative side of his business, which he named Scrapped and Found. I started off with making like oil, oil, oil can guys for fun, and then from there just spiraled. Now he's always on the hunt for bits and pieces that can be combined in surprising and playful ways. Most of the stuff would, would probably end up in a landfill or in a scrap yard. Um, so at least if I'm rescuing him, it's giving him new life. Buying new material all the time is, is extremely expensive. So if you can save a little bit here and there on recycled materials, it is huge. So the eyeballs, I have uh, washers and bottle caps. The head is a old oil can. The body's a croquet ball. And then the arms are old nails, washers, screws, and nuts. The only thing that's new steel is the legs. It's a quarter inch round bar and then screws and nuts for the feet. These smaller robots are Dawson's big seller at festivals and antique shows, but there are plenty of surprises to be found in his workshop. A 10 foot tall robot, a truck heater used as a mannequin's head, a cow with a paintbrush tail. I'll go months without finding anything, and then all of a sudden I'll find a bunch of stuff. Like I, I drove to Ohio to find a guy that has uh, cylinder caps that I use on the planters and I was able to buy 500 all at one time. And there's stuff that I will buy and not use for five years, because I just don't know, but it has a, a great shape, or I like the material it's made out of, or I just see the potential of something down the line. The more I do it, the more you see things, different faces, different things that can be used for arms, bodies, etc. And there are creatures yet to come to life, waiting in these bins. Skiers, we know you're cringing right now, but as you watch these skis get cut and sanded, remember, we're talking about recycling. Typically in a year, we'll recycle, I don't know, 15 to 25,000 skis a year. It's a lot of skis we go through. That number grows exponentially when you consider how long Mike Bellino and SkiChair.com have been at this, more than three decades. And, you know, with us doing this year after year after year, it's been uh, a couple hundred thousand skis we've kept out of the dump and, you know, repurposed. The company's flagship product is right there in the name. Chairs made from skis. But since Chronicle first met Bellino nearly 20 years ago, he has expanded his offerings. We make a lot of much smaller items, um, bottle openers, wine racks, shot skis, and, and that's really what is, is keeping Ski Chair going now. There are also benches made from snowboards and wakeboards, and chairs made with golf clubs. Most of the sports equipment comes to SkiChair.com's Millbury Workshop, directly from manufacturers. They have lots of um, brand new skis that get pushed out of warehouse space. We will take that. Um, we take their warranty skis, and basically what's happening is we're paying the shipping, saving them money, and repurposing their branded product. Molino's inspiration for this venture was personal. I, uh, I bought a house on Quinsigamond, built this enormous dock and needed furniture for it. And I was um, up at Mount Wachusett um, in a ski racing league, NASTAR league. And at the end of the season, I was at the bar having a couple of drinks and it just came over me. I'm gonna build some chairs made of skis. And that's how we started. That is so clever. And Michaelino's entrepreneurial spirit has spread to his son, Max, who has brought recycling to a water sport called foiling. Now, a foil has small wings like an airplane and a post that lifts the board out of the water. Instead of buying new boards to attach to the foil, Max Bellino is repurposing old wig boards to do the job. And back to scrapped but and found, David Dawson says he was always building things as a kid. Star Wars, video games, and old movies influence the art he makes now. Still ahead, a new kind of bar snack.